Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we are going to take a look at creating this parametric bench. Before that, to support us, please subscribe our YouTube channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. So let's jump in. At first, by using rectangle tools, draw a rectangle by 60 centimeter comma 14 now by using push pull tools extrude it by 250 centimeter like this then by line tools draw a line from this corner find the midpoint then move it up to here and again here too and another line here and here then by using push pull tools again delete here and by double click delete here and here too like this so now select all and make it group then we should flip the corner by using artisan plugin first click on this option for dividing into different parts so like this then click on this option to flip its corner and and from here we can increase the segments like this and at the end click on commit like this So now let's cut it into layers by using a Slicer 5 plugin. So at first we should select it, then click on this option. As you can see in here we have a window. First option we should uh, select our axis. For this one I choose X. Uh, determine spacing. For example, I keep it 3 cm, its thickness 1.6, I keep it, and here, here too, and at the end click on OK. So as you can see, it's cut it into layers, and now let me extrude that. So, as you can see, one by one is a simple group. So now, let's hide these edges, because I don't want to see them. Select all and go to default tray, find soften edges. And check this one, like this. It's so easy. So now let's create a pipe to connect them together. So by using circle tools right here, let me change its segments. Find its midpoint, keep it on and move it here, right here and draw a circle by two centimeter like this and by using push pull tools extrude it up to here like this 
and here too let me extrude it here like this select all and make them group so now let's bend it by using TrueBend plugin. First select the model, then click on TrueBend icon. Then click here and drag up to here like this and enter. You can find these plugins on our website for free. I have shared its link in description. As you can see, it's bended. It's so easy and simple. Now, let me put a wood color on it. So guys, I hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you. For more tutorials, please subscribe our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to like, comment and share the video with your friends.